welcome to Mobile, guys. Uh, so I, I thought about it long and hard. Ha, huh, that's what she said. And I decided I am going to buy MK1150 dollar offer. Let me explain why. Before, before you get mad at me, let, let me explain why. First of all, I think it's important to get it as soon as possible. Like I could spend a couple of days grinding crypts to try to get him. I mean, not to try to to get him kill him. Uh, MK1. I keep calling him MK11 Scorpion. I could grind it from crypts. It's gonna take me a few days, but by that time, most of the people who probably can grind a bit faster than me will already have it. So the video is not gonna have as much interest if I post it right now. 90%, well, maybe even more of the people. Still not gonna have MK1 Scorpion, so they're gonna be more interested in the video, so the video is gonna do better. And I can potentially make more money out of it, kinda uh, paying for the pack. Second of all, uh, I feel like it's important to get this character as early as possible and test him out so I can give you my opinion on uh, if it's worth it or not. So other people maybe will, who, who are considering purchasing MK, MK1 pack, could could probably change their mind or anyway just I, I just think the sooner I do it the better and I will still grind the crypts and get another fusion but for now th there is like it's so hard it's <laughs> this one oh boy this one gives you 20% chance it's for ten dollars the other one gives you hundred percent chance and extra two diamonds which there's a tiny little chance of one of those diamonds being the ones that I need I'm just buying fifty dollar pack I just want to know how it feels I w I've never bought this pack before, so let's see if I can get him uh, any any good diamonds with my MK1 Scorpion. Ah, it hurts! It hurts! Fifty dollars go bye bye. Oh boy! All right, MK11 Scorpion. Let's see what you're all about, my boy. I hope this was worth it. I hope they said he's the best, the most powerful fighter ever released. I haven't even read his passive yet. I'm still buying him. I'm I'm, I'm crazy. Don't do this. Don't buy this pack until you watch this whole video, please. All right, we got Spectros internal internal chains, which look different now. Shirai Ryukunai, we got Burning Vengeance. I I got it also because you do get an epic tower piece, which is pretty valuable considering my mine is only fusion one. This is good. Oh, here he is, my beautiful baby boy. We're gonna read your passive in a second. Garbage. Garbage. Yep. Yeah, I, I knew the two diamonds most likely were going to be resells. This pack would make much more sense on a newer account. Once again, I have no idea yet because maybe MK11 Scorpion is trash at Fusion Zero. If that's the case, then what's the point to waste money on him? Like, in my opinion, if the pay to win character is not good at a, at least low Fusion, maybe not Fusion Zero, maybe Fusion 2, Fusion 3, then is it even worth it? Probably not. So let's make a team. I don't even know what team to make. I don't know what what kind of a synergy this guy has. But let's read his passive. That should have started with that right away. First of all, let's get him to level 50. Uh, le let's upgrade all everything that I can upgrade. And then we're going to read everything this guy has to offer. All right. So the first thing that come to mind, <clears throat> his special one has a snare, which is the first scorpion ever to have a snare on special one it's incredibly powerful in towers having snare on any special but specifically on special one which is probably going to be some form of spear toss is extremely powerful x-ray that sets the whole team on fire also very good i like x-rays with uh, team dots special two with the cripple fascinating all right Let's take a look at his passive. When Mortal Kombat 1 Scorpion successfully hits his opponent, he gains fire vitality energy. Successfully hits. If he uses any successful special attack or fatal blow, he will get more fire vitality energy. For each fire vitality bar gain. So is, is there going to be like a whole another bar? It's like another... Uh, it sounds like there's going to be three bars, so another like energy bar together with the with the main one. Scorpion permanently increases his attack by 10% and gains shield for 7 seconds. So it doesn't say so basically what this means. What if you get 
10% and then spend it, then get 10%, I mean, get a uh, bar of power, then spend it, get it, wait, can you even spend it? Okay, let's, get, let's keep reading. Scorpion permanently increases his attack by 10% and gains shield for 7 seconds. Shield OP, higher attack, once again, this part doesn't really matter for Fusion Zero character because you're not going to be using him for damage unless you're willing to pay your way to, to get him on a higher fusion. The model looks kind of okay. Eh, it's like, eh. I still like the way MK11 Scorpion looks way more, but okay, we'll see. We'll see in the fight. When Scorpion receives fatal damage, if he has three bars of fire vitality, he ignites to stay alive and it drains fire vitality bars. Ignited Mortal Kombat 1 Scorpion is immune to damage and all negative effects. He cannot be tagged out and gains a power generation boost. If ignited and his fire vitality has completely drained, he explodes and deals heavy damage to the active enemy. Okay, by explodes, do you mean he dies or he just explodes and then you can tag him out? Interesting. Mortal Kombat 1 Scorpion gains more fire vitality energy for each martial artist teammate. Okay, martial artist synergy is huge. Let's upgrade this and we are getting 25% attack increase. Okay, this sounds interesting. Interesting, but not the best character in the, uh, 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 in the game interesting, to be honest. I still don't see how this is better than MK11 Scorpion, but let's give him a chance. Let's build a martial artist team for this man and uh, let's see him fly. I don't want to use him kill him at Scorpion here because he's just going to melt everything with his fires. Uh, let's start with using just block breaker gear because I'm kind of I kind of want to see just pure character in action. All right, let's let's get let's give him some gameplay. First of all, I also very curious. Actually, I'm going to give him Wrath Hammer and Bloody Tomahawk so I can start with X-Ray because I want to test it out. If he actually gets MK11 Scorpion uh, Fatal Blow, or does he get MK1 Scorpion Fatal Blow? I hope, I really hope they brought MK1 Fatal Blow, because it's it looks amazing. Let's test this out. Alright. Oh yeah! Oh, wait, is this MK11, MK1 Scorpion Fatal Blow? I just realized I have no idea how MK1 Scorpion Fatal Blow looks. Yeah, it is MK1 Scorpion Fatal Blow. Uh, they just removed the other uh, the, the cameo uh, moves out of it. Uh, I don't know, somehow I, I still prefer MK11 Scorpion Fatal Blow, but I don't know. It doesn't really matter because I'm not going to be using it very often. Okay. He is fast! Holy crap. What is this? Oh my god. Is this a bug? Do you see his reach? Oh, I'm blind. That's why. Wait a second. Let me take out. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Let's not take out. Ah, crap. I wanted to test uh, if I survive when I die. Because I, I had three bars of the special power. It fills up pretty fast, actually. So now I have three bars. Almost. Oh yeah, here we go. So now my damage is increased three times. So let's see if I if now I die, what happens? Alright, kill me boy. I wonder if I can get this increase more than three times. I'm ignited, son! I cannot take damage. What is this? I want to see what happens when my bar fully drains. Do I die? Because I can't take out. Impressive. So it's basically, that's it. If you die, you, you still die. You just get like extra 20 seconds of absolute domination, which once again, could be useful, but not going to be game changing. Also, what is this bug with the basic combo? Like, it's just... It's, it feel, feels like I miss the hits. Like, look at this. Let's see if I can replicate this. 
Like his fist combo. It misses a lot. Okay, this is his special too. Okay, that is sick. Well, like, look, what is this happening? I'm just, I'm just tapping and it just gets absolutely wrecked. Look at this. Is this, wait, is that supposed to be like this? Because it's fast enough for it not to be a problem. All right, I want to die now. All right, now let's see. I, I just want to wait. I'm just going to wait and see what happens when my uh, bar expires. It, it lasts actually for a very long time. So if you finish the battle, you can potentially survive. And I cannot take out, right? I cannot take out right now. I explode and I die. And it didn't do that much damage, so let's be honest. I'm simply too fat. It didn't do much damage! Impressive. Okay, so first of all, one thing we gotta acknowledge. This man just gets 75% damage boost like this. Combine it with other damage gear, I think it's gonna stack to absolutely ridiculous amount of damage. And I think he has some utility for crypts and survival because I can't I can't imagine. And his special two is a grapple too. I can't imagine if he gets to like one like in his ignite stage. And if you're uh, if you win the battle, like you probably with 75% damage boost in 20 seconds and increased power generation, you can probably do a lot of damage to these foes. Okay, this is annoying. This is this little combo bug is annoying. Okay, so let's see. You could probably he's probably gonna be counted as alive just at 1%, so you can technically heal him afterwards. So it's like a death protection. For survival and crypts, which is which could be very useful without any gear. Okay, I'm curious. Okay, Jax has 25,000 25, damage. Let's see if my explosion will actually kill him. Like, if it doesn't even do 25,000 damage, that's kind of sad. So I could easily in this state get to my X-ray and absolutely blast these fools. Okay, it did 78,000. Okay, that actually did better this time. Interesting. 78,000 is not bad. It's like potentially doing like a special one or special two. So I can see some use some some use in it, but I, I bet that damage scales... I bet that damage scales with his uh, attack though, so... If it's a low fusion character in the tower... The damage might be way smaller. Alright, let's try a special one. With a cripple. His delay after the combos is pretty bad. Okay, this is this is crazy. It doesn't it, he keeps missing he ca his combo, the the the, the 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 fist combo. Like, look at this! Why? It's like he doesn't reach. Even when he connects, it still doesn't... I don't understand. I don't know. I don't get it. Nice try. I'm a fire boy! Also, right now, I cannot decrease the speed of this bar draining. Yeah, within this time, you can definitely finish most of the teams. 
That is sick. Okay, this is kind of sick. I don't know. It's my my feel. My feelings are very mixed because on one hand they said this guy is the most powerful fighter ever introduced in MK Mobile, which I completely disagree. Hundred percent no. But he might be better than most of the stuff we've been getting recently. Okay, I, I want to try one thing. I want to try uh, to do a battle where this guy is actually not Fusion X with Fusion X team. So I, for example, I'm going to pair him with some weak, low Fusion character. Let's put something like MK11 Liu Kang. So this guy is going to become Fusion 1. So I should be paired still against pretty, pretty strong teams. Let's see if he can compete. This Kitana is th third ascension, so she's going to be very strong enemy for Fusion 1 MK11, MK1 Scorpion. Ig ignore me, I'm just calling MK11 Scorpion. You know what I mean. You know what I mean, guys. It's going to take me a while to adjust. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can we can do Oh my god. I already got my damage boost done to, uh, to her. We got her snared, so I can just keep her pounding her in a good way. You can keep her sn your enemy snared and crippled pretty much almost all the time. Oh, I wish special one was... Ah, boy, I got deleted. I got deleted there. Wait, this doesn't count. I... I, I didn't even reach my third bar of power. That was kind of kind of sad. I kind of want to try him in the towers. You, you can be sure I'm going to I'm gonna be trying him out in towers, guys, when I get to slightly more challenging battles. All right. Fight against extremely overpowered enemy. You can probably make him increase his survivability with, uh, with certain gear. That could help, too. His special too does insane damage. I'm not a fan of his combos. Like, it's really hard to land his... His fist combo. I don't know why. And this allows them, your enemies to interrupt you a lot. I hope it's a bug and it's gonna get fixed. But knowing, knowing MK, MK Mobile developers, it's not gonna fix. It's not gonna get fixed soon. All right, I got my third bar of power, so now I'm protected from death, and I have insane damage boost. Okay, let's take out. Let's not. Let's not die here, please. Okay, raid and destroyed. Now we have this man. Well, this one is pretty weak, so I'm just gonna kill him. Oh, we're exploding. Bye bye. Okay, this guy. L let's deal with injustice raid and with my kill of scorpion. All right. He made me a, a beastie boy. Special two is a grapple, which is very useful. Holy crap! I want to see the explosion damage though, as Fusion 1 character. Yippity yippity! No! Okay, let's see the explosion damage. I did not see the damage. Wait, I have to, I have to see in the recording. 18,000. 18,000 was the damage, which is way less impressive because he's only Fusion 1 in this case. I don't know, guys. He is advertised as the best character in the game. I 100% disagree. He is not even close. I don't think he's better than MK11 Scorpion. I don't think he's better than Classic Liu Kang. I don't think he's better than Injustice Raiden. But he does feel powerful. He does feel powerful. I think he has a lot of potential. I think I'm going to keep playing with him and uh, try out different gear setups and try him out in towers. He seems like like to be like a glass cannon character. The whole point, like you want him to die. You have him in your team potentially to maybe deal some good damage because you can get him to 75% damage boost. If you uh, like if you have him at high fusion, he might be one of the strongest diamonds to use for damage. But in the low fusion, I just don't see much utility for him yet. So to all the people who are considering buying his pack right now in the shop, I would say probably not worth it. Probably go grind the crypt and try to get him for free. 
and uh, the pack is going to be in the shop for the next two weeks. Don't be too hasty to buy his pack like I did. Uh, try him out, get him from Crypts, try him out, see if, if he will fit your current collection and playstyle and if there's any usage for him. In my opinion, the best use for him is going to be in Survival and in Crypts. If you can just uh, basically like a fail save, if you're in a sticky situation, just let him explode and uh, hopefully you'll finish off the team before he completely dies. And then you should be able to heal him back up. So it's like a little fail safe with no gear on. I kind of like it. So does have some utility, but I, I have no idea who decided to name him as the most powerful character ever created in, in like ever introduced in mk mobile that's what they said in patch notes so i don't know i i, I just don't see it yet maybe, maybe if, if you have any creative ideas how do you think mk1 scorpion can unlock his full potential and if, if there's anything i missed also the worst thing about him is his combo like it's either i suck or his combo is completely bugged he gets intercepted all the time he gets like tries to start his fist combo but for some reason it doesn't register most of the time and he just gets intercepted and wrecked which is he feels very fast he feels very nice until this glitch occurs with his fist combo and then he feels like a little toy <laughs> anyway hope you enjoyed the video subscribe for more and uh please leave a like and a comment because it was an expensive video to make thank you for watching and goodbye